station. if you come around that sharp curve on Back Creek before you get to the 35 mile an hour zone, there's an old Honiker farmhouse on the left. That's my driveway. You go through the driveway and you go through the, around the pond and up the hill to the trailer. You want, I can get my son to bring him out because I'm sure my wife doesn't want you to go in her house because her house is a little messy because she works every day and then my dog is crazy. Good. Alright, I'll meet you there. Yes, sir. Route to that location on Back Creek Valley Road. Seven four, route right. So basically, he's been served the FPO, and when you have an FPO, you aren't allowed to own firearms. He says he has three of them in his trailer, so we have to go there now and pick them up. He's given me permission to hold on to them for him uh, until he's allowed to, if he's ever allowed to get them again. Uh, they'll be logged into evidence here for safekeeping. Um, if and when he is allowed to have them again, he just come back into the station and fill out some paperwork and get them back to him. Okay. So we're headed there now to go pick them up. Yeah. There's also no promise that he would just, when he shows up, just sit in his car and wait. That's what he's supposed to do. Yeah. And that's what I've told him is, uh, he says his son's going to be there. Hoping his son can just let me in and put their dog up because he says he has a dog and doesn't like strangers either. That way I can just go in and get the firearms and 49. Call it a day, basically. Yeah. vehicle, Great Time Road, Land Hill Drive, Break. Uh, Berkeley on 97 out here at 13, 330 Back Creek Valley Road. Copy 155. Y'all really got a video there? He's riding with me. He's doing that live I PD stuff. Just let me know on the radio. You want him to stay in the car? Yeah. yeah, my wife's going to be here in a minute and give you the guns. She's on her way? Yes. About five minutes she'll be here. I told you I had a stupid dog. I got one calm dog and one crazy dog. Yeah, I don't 
think he wants you getting out there. All set? What's that? All set? Yep. I assume that was the sister or something? Uh, no, he called his buddy and his buddy sent his girlfriend over. As long as they're not where he's staying, they can hold on to the weapons. Yeah. If he was reported like using those weapons at his friend's house, would be in trouble. Yeah, felony. Gotcha. If he's even on the same same property where they are, felony. Gotcha. So like, if his buddy decides to go take his guns out and shoot with them, and he ends up where his buddy's at with his guns, he's in shit, deep shit. We have a report of fraud. It occurred at 934 Great Memory. Great. Yeah. The caller about it is a male. So it's like you had a company. With no She's going to be staying at that residence with the child. The respondent's going to be leaving. Family. So with the. Uh, um, Restraining order, he loses. It all depends on what terms were named in there. If she had wanted to, she could have set it up to where they both had visitation set times, but she just went ahead and asked to have full custody of the kid, which means, well, from what everything was listed in there, he can't have his guns, he can't see his, his pets, he can't see his kids, can't be on the property, she owns everything. Good. Are you now going to be leaving here shortly, though? Temple. 
vigils for the camera. So we doubled back to uh, just to make sure that the guy had, had, had actually left the property. Yeah, doubled back to yes, the sir. address Five, where two, the respond had been. Like I said, he was only eyes. there because the original plan was, he was four, to five, unlock nine, the house five, so four. that we could collect the guns. I just wanted to make sure he was doing what he was supposed to do. He had no further purpose to be at that house, so he left. Yeah, we just saw him drive right past us, so that yep. means we're good to go. Yep, you did the right thing. Good. So we had to do a call right now. Are you able to uh, call upstairs to find There's out if that's a, right a rental Observing. property? And if so, the owner, to see if we can get contact information. Right now. Sure, probably be a better way to describe it. Driving around, prowling around town. What are the things that like you're looking for primarily? Whatever. Um, depends on if I'm looking for people or vehicles. Cars yeah, are only a little bit easier to read. You can pull cars over for all kinds of things. Uh, they might have a dead inspection, registrations out of date. Uh, they got a headlight or tail light out. Uh, you can actually stop somebody for driving in the rain. Uh, if they have their windshield wipers on and not their headlights, huh. even if it's daytime. The two are supposed to go together whenever the weather is not good. It's not aware of that. What's, the, what's that? I wasn't aware of that. I yeah. suppose it makes sense though. There's a lot of little weird traffic laws that a lot of people don't think about. Like uh, if it snows, if you own a snow plow for your truck, you are not allowed to use that on a public roadway. You can only use it on your property. Hmm. I know a lot of people still do, and I'd never stop from it because, I mean, it helps the community out. Yeah. It's more like a liability issue because, let's say somebody was plowing the road with their personal and uh, they chipped a big hole in the middle of the road. Well, now you got a problem. Yeah. And at least having that law there keeps the state from being liable for that. Yeah. I suppose the other major one that you look for is just traffic laws and making sure people are stopping and going to speed limit. Yeah, a big one that people like to do is not stopping at stop signs and red lights. Yeah, especially at major intersections like the one over by uh, Lowe's and that McDonald's and Sheets there on Apple Harvest. That whole strip there, people will run red lights all day long. It's 45, so we usually catch people going way over. Shepherdstown Road is really hit or miss. It's either completely calm or you'll come back here and you'll find somebody drunk as hell 
that wants to flee from you and you might get him out of the car and try to fight you. Like it's, it's that poor. Oh wow. Probably, if I had to take a wild guess, I'd say it's because it goes straight to Shepherdstown, obviously, where the college is. So I'm sure the college has a big impact on a lot yeah. of those drunk people. Because I mean, like, there's a bar right down here at the edge of the county on this road called Green Frog, mm -hmm. and that's where a lot of the college kids love to go and party. Hmm.
It happened down there where the Popeyes is. Chinese Chinese restaurants on your right. Eagle School Road. Yeah. He did touch the back of the bumper. See where it's white right here? He got out. I was setting at the light. He came out of Popeyes. Mm -hmm. And I was setting at the light and I felt a nudge. Yeah. And I think he let his foot off the clutch. So I thought somebody had hit him. So I got out and I looked and I said, hey, I said, uh, he said, man, there ain't no damage on there. And he wasn't he white. And I said, yeah. I said, you, that's cracked. So I called the manager and told him, I just been rear-ended. I said, we're supposed to go over to Weiss, exchange insurance information. As soon as I turn into Weiss, gone. So he told you to buff it out and then split on you. Yep, yep. He wiped the back of the bumper off and said, ain't no damage. I know it's a, it's a Dodge Ram truck. It's Maryland tags. It has dually tires on the back. It's a Mexican guy driving. It's a black guy on the passenger side. Both of them got out and looked at it, and it already has damage on his truck already. Like he has uh, them tow bars in the front. Yeah. It's damage all right in the front of that. What color you say it was? It's all white. No markings or nothing on it. It's just all white and damage on the front. White, white Dodge Ram 3500. Yep. Maryland tags. Didn't get a tag number. I did go into the Popeyes. She said she has the truck on camera, but it's, I guess it's parked out back. They don't have no tag on it, so I'm wondering if they went inside and they, and if they're on camera. I ain't answered that because I came up here to call. Yeah, I'll head there after we're done here. Now. All right, you to put all that in this over on this paper. Yep. You got a driver's license mm -hmm. and the insurance for the vehicle, the company insurance. Anyways. Yeah, it's in there. I need uh, whatever the insurance that covers all your vehicles. I need that number for it and the expiration date. Every every time any of these things happen, they just tell me to let you guys know that we're self-insured. That's it. I don't. They don't have to give me anything else outside of that. Okay. Can you call them and find that out for me, please? What I'm saying is, there's no policy number. Like I'll call my risk manager and she tell me the same thing again. So basically, if you all had it on paper, it would just say enterprise. Self assured, yeah. Okay. Interesting. This one's different. This one's for Virginia. Will it make a difference, even though they're all still the same? Mm. Hi, Denise. How are you? Because that, see, that's what it said. We're saying self insured. You I this is out of the Jeep. This is a Virginia tag. Uh, and this is what they all have inside. Yeah, yeah. all of them have it. Just says different state. Yeah, the state shouldn't uh, uh, Rico. matter. I can give you yeah, a copy. Yeah, he's good. Uh, the person just apparently drove off on the report to get any information. Yeah, if you can make me a copy of that. And so sure. the report now, and they're trying to find out if there's like a policy mm -hmm. number for enterprise. Self assured, but I, she said to, I can give you the address in our office here in uh, Rockville. Rockville, Maryland? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's where our corporate office is. Mm, I think I've called them before. Probably. It's been a while, though. It's, we, the red cars, we should, it happens. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't mind, just in case. 2273 Research Boulevard, Suite 600. 
And that's Rockville, Maryland, 20850. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Just to make sure why I can't. He's not. He's getting us, so he's just getting you, right? Just, just him. He's just getting me. Okay. Cool. He's the only thing for the day. Um, no worries. That should be everything I need. Yeah, that's because that's just it. That's all to tell. He's just we're self insured, and that's it. And I'll uh, add this to the corporate office. That's why okay. I can give you outside of that. Yeah, I'll. I'll have to figure it out. The reason why I ask is because the way we do our accents through the computer system, it specifically asks for a policy number and expiration date. But since you all don't have that, yeah, now I gotta, I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah, I had another employee that had the same thing happen. I think it was about two months now, and he got ran, uh, not ran. Actually, I think he gets ran. No, it was a he got like swiped in the front, front or something. Had a light up at the the rocks up this way, and mm. the guy drove off too. But he got the light split that guy. My yeah. He's just a little older. Yeah, I've been in this car too. Yeah, 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 I got that. Um, but he was telling me that uh, Popeye was by the shooting, so I'm going to be heading there as soon as I leave. Yeah, here. he said they couldn't pull up anything um, for outside, but they may have eaten inside. Mm -hmm. uh, that helps. I don't know, is that camera at that light? There is, but it's not, it's not the greatest picture quality. Most of the ones that are outdoors aren't that great. Not the best. Yeah. I was going to see, I, I didn't know where he, he said he may have cut off before he got here because I was going to say we could probably see if we could catch him on ours, but mm -hmm. if he cut off before he got up this way, I don't know where they probably turn around and move back another way or something. Yeah. You don't need my contact info for... Uh, uh, if, as much information as you can give him, uh, like, can, you get, can you give him a police report number or... Off the top of my head, no, because I have to look at the computer. Okay. It's uh, it's generated based off of how many calls we've taken during the day so far. Okay. And I don't know the number of that. Is this something that we can call later on today or maybe tomorrow? Yeah, today. Today? Yeah, as soon as I get back, access my computer, I can tell you what it is. Awesome. Yeah, whatever much information you can give them would be appreciated. Do we just call the sheriff's office? <laughs> He's writing it down. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yeah, so what I was going to say is that the difference between this one and the other one I gave you, the other one, from what I was told, is that it was proven that he said men. So the men that hit um, the guy we were just talking to ate at Popeye's, so we're going to go check out there. Yep. Maybe you see their security cameras. Your guess was right. Yep, that's normally how it is. So, since you can't get any more information, you're pretty much just going to do the report and kind of hope that you catch them? That's normally how this works. Yeah, if I have nothing to really follow up on, I just put the information that I do have in the report and it goes from there. If we find anything further, I can always reopen the case and add more to it. So 
pretty much the only more information that you could get if you actually, sure. is if you accidentally ran into them at a light or something. Yeah, and even then I'd have to see some kind of proof. Yeah, the scripting factors would have to match up. I, I'd have to be able to look at the two guys. They'd have to match the description that gave, was given to me. The vehicle would have to match it. Um, and I would also have to see the front end damage on it, yeah. where it would have been when it hit. And then you'd have to get uh, in the other guy as a witness at some point. Yeah. Yeah. 